I'm Abigail Hange with your NBC 26 update. New this morning, deputies say a Green Bay man held a butcher knife up to a baby after a high-speed chase last night. Thankfully, he has been arrested. The Fond du Lac County Sheriff's Office says a 34-year-old Green Bay man led deputies on a 14-mile high-speed chase from Highway 151 to 175. He had an adult female passenger in the car as well as a baby. Now, after several hours of negotiations, the adult female and her baby were safely taken away. The driver was arrested. Now, the Sheriff's Office says no one was hurt, but the man is facing numerous charges this morning. The issue of ballot curing is up for debate again in Wisconsin. Ballot curing is the process where clerks fix or correct missing information, like an address from a voter's absentee ballot envelope. The Assembly Committee on Campaigns and Elections meets today in Madison to review the 2020 election. If you're looking for a job and getting some help with it, check out this program. St. Vincent de Paul Green Bay has brought back their Back to Work program. They say anyone of any background can take part in it, which offers a range of help from communication skills to critical thinking. We have class information on our website. And I'm meteorologist Gina Rucky with your weather forecast. We are seeing steadier rain showers this morning. As we go towards the afternoon, it looks like it'll turn more scattered to isolated, but we'll continue with the chance of some rainfall as you head into the late evening hours. As we go to tonight, it turns pretty dry, and by tomorrow, lots of sunshine returning. The only thing, though, tomorrow will be a lot more breezier and also a little cooler. Rainfall totals. Upwards or exceeding a half inch to the Northwoods, lesser totals along across the Fox Valley. Temperatures today looks like the last chance of getting the 60s for a while, so enjoy it if you like it. Breezy winds coming in out of the southwest at about 15 to 20 miles per hour, and that's a look at your forecast.